Hey everybody, welcome to this DevX tutorial. Uh, today's topic, we're gonna be taking a look at refreshing Tableau server extracts uh, using the REST API. So we can do this in two different ways. We can take a look at a workbook and uh, refresh its extracts. So maybe you've published a workbook and it has extracts embedded inside of it. Um, that's one thing we're going to do is publish uh, or refresh the extracts belonging to one of these workbooks that we published. Uh, that is this guy right here, BigQuery workbook with extract. And then uh, we're going to go back and we're gonna do the same process, but just for a data source. So perhaps you are in a situation where you've published a data source up to Tableau server and different people connect to that data source. Uh, well, you could just refresh that single extract and then it would impact all those workbooks. So uh, we have a REST API endpoint that will serve both of these purposes. And we'll take a, a little bit of a look at the, a the API endpoint itself. And then we'll focus mostly on the, uh, the code we can do to make this come to life. So before we really get into it, I do want to show you that there's a step-by-step -step tutorial that I wrote out on Medium. Uh, this kind of goes through all the steps that you would need to make this come to life. So uh, if you want to, you could go out to uh, Medium, search for DevX, search for triggering um, extract refreshes using the REST API, and you'll find this article. Uh, now, if you just like to follow along with videos, then let's keep going with this. So the very first uh, endpoint we're gonna be playing around with here is going to be to refresh the extracts that exist within a workbook. So we can see that there is in this uh, Tableau server REST API reference, so this documentation of the REST API, we can see that there is an endpoint that serves this need. It's called update workbook now. And uh, the, the immediacy, that sense of urgency is baked into this name. Um, what this really means is that it's going to trigger an extract refresh for the extracts within the given workbook, and it's going to set the priority to the uh, basically the highest level of urgency possible. Um, so anyways, we're going to trigger this, and then uh, something fun here, we're going to get a job ID back. So this is gonna be, allow us to kind of check in on that task. Hey, did this thing succeed, did it fail? So that's kind of a nice little uh, thing we'll take a look at afterwards. So if you're really building a, a hardcore automation here, you could trigger an extract and then verify that it's succeeded or do some other kind of uh, try again logic if it comes back and it failed. In any case, let's go ahead and hop into the code and uh, we're inside of a Jupyter notebook here. So we're using Python and we are also using the Tableau API lib library. So this is a library that's gonna allow us to more easily tap into the REST API endpoints that you would find documented out here in the API reference. And uh, for starters up here, we're just importing Tableau server connection. Uh, it's gonna allow us to speak with our server. Um, and then we, we also have some uh, useful functions that exist within this library, such as things that allow us to query uh, data from the REST API and store that into a pandas data frame. It just makes things a little bit easier to work with. And we also have this ability to flatten certain columns. That's a uh, alien language to you, don't worry. We'll show how that's useful when we get there. And then for the rest of this, uh, as far as actually connecting to your server and how you need to configure this, there is a video linked in the description called Getting Started with Tableau API Lib. So go check this out if you have no idea what a site URL or API version, etc., is. All right, so we are going to go ahead and create a, uh, an instance of a Tableau server connection to this environment that we defined up above, Tableau Online. So we do that and we can see name is not configured because I didn't define this. Lots of fun. All right, now that we have that defined, uh, we can see that I have signed in. And um, now let's get started with the actual stuff we came here to do. So uh, for starters here, I'm going to do a couple optional steps. Um, like we're working with refreshing a workbook ID. So, uh, or sorry, a workbook's extracts. 
And in order to do that refresh action, you're going to need to know what the ID of your workbook is. And so I'm not going to assume that everybody just knows these IDs or how to get them off the top of their head. So let's kind of step through this together and see how we can bring this to life. So we have this uh, ability to query our workbooks. Um, the Tableau API lib library has that querying uh, set of functions that comes with it. So let's use this querying.get workbooks data frame to fetch all of the workbooks on our site. Now, I also happen to know if I look out here that uh, we are concerned with a specific workbook that exists inside this project. So I have a whole lot of projects and a whole lot of workbooks, um, like hundreds of views on here. So if we go into this Tableau API lib blog project, we can see that there's only a handful of workbooks. So just to make our lives a little bit easier, let's also do this optional step of flattening this uh, column named project. So up here we can see that we got this project column. And inside that column, there's a lot of embedded uh, information such as the project ID, uh, the project name. And those are really the only two things I really care about here. So let's just extract those. And the way we do that is we can feed our workbooks data frame into this other function available from the Tableau API lib library called flatten dict column. Uh, all you really need to know here is that we are feeding in our workbooks data frame, and then we are uh, really focusing on this column project, and then we're going to extract from that these embedded pieces of information, such as the product uh, project name and the project ID. So when we do this, uh, we could take a look at our workbooks, and now if we scroll over here, don't scroll over that far, if we scroll over here uh, to the right hand side of all of the columns provided in here, we have extracted from project this project name and the project ID. Now what this is going to allow us to do is this next optional step where we can say, let's take a look at all the available projects. Uh, one of the ones we care about is in this list, Tableau API lib blog. And now in the next step down here, I'm just going to say, okay, can we get a version of that data frame? So we're taking our workbooks data frame and we're filtering this essentially to say, I only really care about my project that is named this. So when I run this, uh, we are now going to have a data frame that only has information about the projects, the, or sorry, about the workbooks that belong to that project we care about. All right. All of those optional steps uh, lead us to the situation where we can easily find the workbook that we care about. So let's find this, uh, this workbook name. Um, and let's see, big query workbook with extract is the one that I care about. So I'm gonna take its corresponding ID and store it in this variable called refresh workbook ID. And once I have this, I can then come down here to this step where we actually make use of this update workbook now endpoint. Uh, now to use this endpoint, uh, this is actually really simple. I'm, I have, I'm using the Tableau API lib library, so I, I have this connection established to Tableau server or Tableau online, and now the library gives me this update workbook now method, which corresponds to the update workbook now endpoint documented in the Tableau server REST API documentation. So when I call on this, it's basically just going to ask me for a little bit of information. And we can see that the thing I need to pass in is the workbook ID. And that's going to immediately execute an extract refresh for that specified workbook. So I pass in that ID that I want to refresh, uh, the ID of the workbook I want to refresh. And we can even check, since I'm storing the response in this variable called response, we can see what the server uh, tells me after I request this extract refresh. So what the server is going to return to me, if we look back out at this documentation, we can see that I could expect a response body. And inside this response body, I'm supposed to get uh, some kind of job ID and some information about the job that has been triggered. And sure enough, that's what we see out here. So now uh, another optional follow-up we can do is we could say, uh, all right, I know there's a job that's running this extract refresh for me. 
maybe I wanna check in on that, see if it succeeded. Uh, and then maybe you do something like blast out a Slack message to everybody like, hey, your data's up to date today, or uh, do whatever other processes uh, you need to do in your automation flow. And so I'm going to store the ID of the job, which is this, uh, but I'm not just going to copy and paste that. I'm going to actually access it directly from the response. Um, good old programmer laziness there, lazy and efficient. So now I can query that job uh, using the query job endpoint. And this is this is not something mysterious and you know specific to the Tableau API lib library. This query job endpoint is something that we could find out here in the REST API uh, reference. So query job. We could read about this here, but uh, suffice to say that all we really need to do is pass the job ID into this, and we're going to end up getting some information about what happened with that job. Now, you could also do this manually if you went out here to your Tableau um, online or Tableau server UI. You're going to have this little tab that allows you to check in on your jobs. So if I look at this, we can see that something uh, very recently completed. And that's the job that we use to refresh uh, that extract. All right, so that's that's really all that is, all there is to it. Uh, we just to recap there, we took a look at our workbooks. Um, we used the Tableau API lib library to get a list of all the workbooks. Then we unpacked information about the projects so that we could focus in on a specific project that we know has the workbook we care about. And then we found the uh, the workbook ID for the workbook whose extract we wanted to refresh. And then we refresh that extract and finally uh, use the response from the server when triggering the extract refresh to then later check in on that uh, the status of that job. Now we're going to do all of that that we just did for a workbook, but we're going to do it for a data source. So this we can fly through a little bit faster because we've seen all of this. It's really the same uh, same song and dance, just a bit of a different tune. And we are going to just run this querying.getDataSources data frame uh, function. And this is going to give us, just like we got information about our workbooks, now we get information about our data sources. And we can then take a look at our uh, data sources projects column and unpack that just like we did for our workbooks. And now we can once again uh, focus on only data sources relevant to the project that has the data source we care about. So once again, that's the Tableau API lib blog project in our case. So this is the project name that we care about. And we can actually see I only have one data source there. Let's uh, cross reference that with what I see in my actual environment. So if I go into this project, we can see there is one data source stored here, bigquery uh, underscore extract. So we can just grab this ID, uh, but actually here there's so many columns I can't easily find that ID. So I'm just going to run this extra command down here, which, uh, which just gives me a subset of the columns. So I'm only really worried about my project name, uh, and the name of the data source and the ID of the data source. So we get that information down here and I'm just going to copy and paste the ID of the data source uh, into this variable called refresh data source ID. And we can run that and then finally run the command here to trigger this update data source now endpoint. Once again, this endpoint could be found if you wanted to read more about it, you could go to the REST API documentation and you can look up update data source now. So it's just another endpoint and uh, the Tableau API lib library has a method corresponding to that endpoint. And again, all we need to do is pass the relevant ID into this method, and then it's going to trigger this extract refresh for us for that data source. So let's go ahead and do that, and we'll see some familiar information here. This is just, once again, telling us about the job that, uh, that's been lined up for us. And uh, we could follow up with that by saying, 
hey, what's the status of that job? So we check on this and it looks like that job hasn't completed yet. And you could keep running through this until that job is complete. All right, so it looks like that job did finish. Once again, we can come out here, look at all of our jobs, and we can see that uh, that job just finished at 1645, which is what time it is now. All right, so that's all there is to it. Uh, we're really just making use of the endpoints that exist out in the Tableau server REST API reference, and we're using a library, Tableau API lib, that stitches all this stuff together for us and really does the heavy lifting. All we have to do is point to the things that we want to have happen and we make it happen. Uh, now we're doing this all programmatically so that you can maybe take what you've learned from this and integrate it into your own workflows. And um, now you could programmatically ex uh, refresh extracts. Uh, something that is uh, good to know about this is maybe some, some older methods of refreshing extracts and of ETL pipelines in general tended to be that you would uh, say, let's begin a job. Maybe you're, you have a, like you're selling products to customers and maybe every night you run this batch job that says, let's take all of the information about our sales and let's uh, feed that into the database. And now to the next day, we're gonna have information available to us about how much revenue we made yesterday and how many transactions there were, how many unique customers did we have. And um, a lot of times you'll say, okay, this job is supposed to run at 4 a.m. So then let's pad that with two hours and let's run this, this dependency, this dependent job two hours later. Um, what programmatically running these extracts allows you to move away from is that kind of time estimation for scheduling your jobs. And instead what you could do is you could just say, as soon as this data is ready to go, we want to make that available in Tableau as soon as possible. And so then you could just have a program that does what we've seen here and triggers an extract refresh. So rather than just saying, I wanna schedule my extracts to, to run at like 9 a.m. every day, you could instead say, let's go ahead and run that extract whenever the data's ready. Uh, so that's really the kind of the benefit that you would get from implementing this, uh, the automated version of this extract refreshing as opposed to just running extracts on a schedule. So hopefully this is helpful to you and uh, go check out the blog if you want to get some more uh, written step-by-step -step material. Otherwise, hope to see you next time.